It's the one and only Hips Happy Hours. Yay. Happy Friday, everybody. I'd just like to welcome Suzanne and also David from Cocktails Under Quarantine. We've been waiting to do this for quite some time. Pretty much made our own cocktail channels under lockdown last year. And we've been networking for quite some time. Yeah, I've got some questions here for you. First of all, t- tell us what you're drinking tonight. Oh, so uh, we're, we're having a transatlantic toast, which is which is lovely. I've got a lemon drop here. So it's vodka, lemon juice, lemon cello, and simple syrup. Wow, and I've actually seen that video. So I'm going to put that onto onto my links, you know, for you to see. It's a a really, really nice uh, cocktail. And you've actually made the base for that, haven't you, the lemon cello? Yep, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I like I do I like making liqueurs. I mean, you know, it's it's great yes. to buy them, but it's kind of fun to make them and also it's cost effective. Absolutely, yes. So I've got some questions here for you. All right. I'm in the hot seat. Yeah. So are you ready? I'm ready. So question number one, Suzanne. What inspired you to create your YouTube channel? All right. That's a great question. So I kind of think of our, all of our lives as kind of pandemic as kind of the before times and, and after. And in the before times, you know, I've been making cocktails for a while and I've really enjoyed it. I've done some like charity auctions where I've done cocktail lessons. My other big hobby, because clearly I like having an audience, I was performing locally, telling telling stories on stage in front of a couple hundred people. But obviously, you know, I would do that at bars and whatnot. And that's obviously all gotten shut down. And uh, David, my husband and I, we have two young kids. And in the before times, we used to be able to go out on dates, with, you know, get a babysitter to watch the kids and go out on dates. So with the quarantine and the lockdown, we had all these Saturday nights and we were like, what do we do to entertain ourselves? And and someone had asked me, they said, you know, would you, would you make a video of you making cocktail and explain how to do it? And I asked David, I said, will you help me with this. And he was like, yes, you know, I'll help you do that. And so that's kind of where it was born. But, but you're in your, my interview of you, you showed some of your favorite cocktail books. So I feel like I should show some of mine. The, the book that got me started is the 12 bottle bar by, by David Solomonson and his wife, another, it's a so husband wife team, Leslie Jacobs Solomonson. So that's a great book to explain kind of how cocktails work. And then I've really gotten into tiki lately. And so there's Shannon Mustafer's Tiki Modern Tropical Cocktails, which for kind of new modern inventive t- cocktails. I think she's really, really interesting and talented. And she's a New Yorker. She's actually a, a Black American. And the cocktail world tends to be very white and very male. And that's that's fine, but it's always great. I mean, I think cocktails are for everybody. It's great to see women getting involved. It's great to see people of color getting involved. So diversity in cocktails. I also got, and you can see all, my, all the drinks I want to make by all the, the sticky notes, but I've got uh, Smuggler, the Smuggler's Cove book by by Martin and Rebecca Kate. And that's been a, that's been a real, a real gem. Wow. It looks like you've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> Three really good books. I've, n- I've never seen them before. They look really good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah I- I'm going to have to check out some of the books you recommended because they-, they look like good ones too. You- it seems like you you do a lot of the classic cocktails. Yeah, I do like um, a broad range of things. I'm not one who's, a- I'm not really a traditionalist really. I do like trying different things. So you know, re- thank you for introducing me to the tiki's. We're going to be putting the descriptions of the books in our in the links. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, Great idea. Yeah. Wow, so-, so that's question one. It went very well. So question number two, what are your favourite cocktails? I really like the sours because I just, I like the sweet and sour profiles. You know, I've got the lemoncello, great, simple sour. It's just equal parts, easy to make, you know. But when I feel like getting more fancy, more involved, I, you know, I love tiki, as you mentioned. It, it does tend to be more involved, but they're just fun and they're, they're complex and they're also just visually beautiful because they have these really ornate garnishes. And I think the other thing I love about them is that they're, I feel like sometimes some people, not you, obviously, but like some people in the cocktail world, they get a little bit like overly serious. And I think that tiki is just kind of fun and kind of light. And I think that when you're drinking, it should be this fun, light, relaxing experience. Absolutely. Yes. And what's the, what's David's favorite cocktail? You know, that's a good question. I think I, I think I'm gonna have to guess. I hopefully I'm guessing this right. We've been married for a long time, so I'm pro- I probably am right. Probably a gin and tonic. I mean, it's a classic. You can't go wrong with it. Easy to make. It's not it's not always an easy question because a, a lot of people don't really like. I don't really have a favorite, but if you were to nail me down, I would. You know, I like to, I like trying different things, and that's why you know with the tickies you've really introduced me to something because there's so many different variations of tickies, isn't there? Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, as you as you've shown you two complete books with all the bookmarks in. There's there's lots to try and 
you know, some really exciting uh, range of cocktails. Yeah, so we're at question number three. What's your favorite thing about Hips Happy Hour? We love Hips Happy Hour. Um, I love, you did the spin at the beginning, which I think is just perfect. You just, you're having, you're clearly having a lot of fun. When, when I'm watching your videos, I feel like I'm having fun too. So I love your enthusiasm. You have very clear explanations so i feel like when i when i watch your videos i could go and make the cocktails so i, I feel like there's you know you're a good instructor that way so you make cocktails oh, approachable you. yeah you're welcome it's lovely to hear thank you really really kind final question is number four what are you looking forward to most when lockdown lifts and you can travel Aren't we all looking forward to that well I, I as we were talking about earlier i just got my second vaccination so we'll be you know fully vaccinated and i hope that you know we'll all be defeating covid and getting out of this soon we love to travel and we want to hit some of our favorite bars so we'd love to go to san francisco where that's one of our favorite cities and go to smuggler's cove which is in san oh, francisco wow. yeah and then david has said he wants to my my partner in crime he loves new orleans we both like new orleans a lot and he loves Loves the French 75 bar and then we've traveled quite a bit but we haven't been to the UK yet so the UK is definitely on our our short list of places to visit well you're welcome anytime we must absolutely uh, thank must you yeah collaborate in person absolutely and where, yes, where, where are you guys gonna go when you guys can travel well we we, we like to go to there's an island in the Atlantic Ocean called Madeira my wife's family like to go to a lot it's been cancelled the past couple of years but we're looking forward to going there you know the one one of my favorite places Italy I love mm. um, the cuisine and the drinks and you know, it's um, and also France. You know, I do love, I do love Europe, and but I would absolutely love to come to America. I've, I've, I've only been to New York. There's so many states that all the states almost like countries. You know, and yeah, I, I love watching all the documentaries. There's so so much stuff on the states. You know, where they, where people go across all the states and all the different cuisines, and like you mentioned, New Orleans. It's just so so different to um, any other states. You know, the deep south. Yeah, I, I really, I would love to co come to America. I really Absolutely. would. And Come visit. Go yeah, on the West Coast. That. Yeah, so that's it. That's the, uh, the four questions. So in terms of our cocktails, I would just like to give a toast. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for having yeah. me, James. Cheers. Cheers. Good to great to finally meet you. It's been an absolute pleasure networking with you, with you, uh, Suzanne and, and David as well. We've been growing together. It's been, and I think this is what YouTube's all about, you know, during these troubled uh, times, you know, the fact that we've been able to network and, uh, become friends you know through ex extraordinary ways and be able to reflect back at lockdown this is what we did yeah yeah it's lovely it's great make, making uh, meeting you and making new friends and you know we're not people we're resilient people I, we're not people to be feel sorry for ourselves i think we make we make the most of situations so i think i think you know this has been a wonderful you know e every every difficulty has a silver lining and this has been a, a wonderful thing that's come out of the pandemic. absolutely very very good words cheers Big cheers so look forward to uh, looking, watching your videos. Yeah, I'm looking forward to collaborating further in the future. Absolutely.